Uh, we are here, my team came here and signed up for Startup Weekend to tell you no news actually. It's old story. Uh, there are many international students in Warsaw, 6,000 like us, and they, same, they, same, they face the same problem. Okay? The problem, in fact, is uh, that they don't know each other when they come here, and of course, there is a huge problem for accommodation. Well, there are some accommodation provided by hostels, dorms, provided by universities, but as you know, they're not neat and cozy as they may seem from the first sight. Okay? So what are the solutions? Of course there are amazing solutions like flats, brand new, shiny, fully furnished flats. You will love them. You will just get in love with them, but I'm not sure about the price, okay? So what if I told you that every single one of you, yeah, maybe investors, maybe non-investors, but every single one of you have opportunity to change it. You can change how reality looks. What if I told you it's easier than Lego? And what if I told you, okay, be seated please. It's about containers, okay? It's about shipping containers. Really? These containers, yes, it's about this. They're cheap, easy to construct, and well, individual and cozy, I would say, okay? <laughs> so, okay, I know, I know you all think I'm doing shipping, but please look at this one. There are existing models in Netherlands, okay? We have some models in Amsterdam, Groningen. We had some partners, they told us that the quality and price balance is just awesome and flawless. Students love it because they have their own kitchen, bathroom, and privacy. They live there on their own, 27 square meters. For what? 250 euros, okay? <laughs> we can prove it, we can prove it just if there is anyone, if there is anyone who wants to see, if there is anyone who has a land to just give it to us for a couple weeks maybe, and of course 10,000 euros, we can provide you with 27 square meters containers, okay? And just show it to you. If you don't like it, we will disassemble it and just get the hell out of here, okay? All we need, guys, all we really need the MVP showed us that the students would love this. We just didn't really have the MVP, but just uh, <laughs> website, just website, website, okay? We just sent it, spammed every, my friend, and they said that they would love to do it. All we need is just your brains and knowledge. Of course, your vote of confidence and trust and money, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Questions, please. So, first of all, um, uh, so let me express that uh, containers are very, uh, uh, it's a controversial in public space. Uh, uh, um, uh, but I'm, I just want to ask, uh, uh, did you um, check um, if this, uh, let's say, living containers are meaning, uh, let's say, Uh, did, did you did you make some validation uh, uh, on this uh, on this uh, um, on this matter? I, I think you really don't like us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. Sorry. <laughs> All right. The thing is that we googled it and we found some people living in containers in Poland, and if we can find it in Poland, police can find it, right? So, I'm sure it's, it's meeting the legal, uh, legal requirements. <laughs> look, 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 they may have looked like hobos, but they're still people, okay? They are, they are, they are. examples of containers being used for housing throughout Europe and some of the uses are very very imaginative incredible spaces actually completely safe completely healthy completely approved even by Warsaw Council I expect <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> anyone else 
Okay, thank you.